my friend today, Michelle. So we're going to go uh, shopping later. So today we're at Pavilion. We were there the whole day, and um, one of the first stops was at Dior. So it's been quite a while since I've went to Dior, so I thought it was about time. Um, yeah, and everything was looking really nice, especially I think there were some kind of Christmassy decorations up already. Um, as usual, I really like the decor at Dior. So I really wanted to take a look at the micro bags but this t-shirt which is so cute caught my eye um, and then just look at this so black pattern Lady Dior which is so cool and so chic actually um, and then this is the Dior Delight which is in embroidered fabric so this is the micro vanity or mini vanity which is super cute in cloud blue um, but I don't know what do you guys think is it too small but it is a mini bag but it is a very very well priced one compared to the rest so here's the caro also in cloud blue it is super small it is a micro caro but it does have a chain for crossbody and it is very cute um so as you can see you prob you cannot really fit anything inside it's really a micro bag and surprisingly the micro saddle was super cute you know um and this is in a caramel color i think and then um yeah here i am just trying it on and you can actually attach a shoulder strap as well here i'm kind of admiring my own chanel bag and you can, at least the saddle can fit in the crook of your arm so yeah we got champagne every time i go to dior it's always nice um, I really like the cloud blue color, but I like another blue which is cornflower. So we'll see. Um, so I think you can tell I like the micro bags, but I really don't know what I'm gonna do with them. And my mom would probably like, you know, not really be a big fan of me getting such small bags. Just here, uh, me in my one of my favorite places. And uh, my friend took pictures of me browsing at the ready to wear. I really, really like this top. It is very lightweight and it was, um, yeah, I do like Dior ready to wear. Okay, and then I tried on the Montaigne 30 again, um, you know, a full size bag. This is in gray or uh, cloud blue, sorry. And it is very nice, um, you know, very formal. I think it really suits me, I think. So I'll share a little bit more on why I didn't buy anything at Dior today. Uh, we also stopped by the Chanel shoe store at Pavilion. And I really, really loved the Camellia shoe I tried on. Unfortunately, no size. To be honest, the selection was not that great at the Chanel shoe store. The only pair I really liked uh, were the Camellia ones, but both the full leather and the gross grain ones um, did not have my size. I'm a size 39, so just in case you're also size 39. Okay, so it's the end of like the shopping day, so we just wanted to show uh, you like what's in my friend's 21k, um, my perfect mini, which is in the what pink, right? Pink, iridescent pink. Yeah, iridescent pink. So. So basically now, I think she's just going to show you what yeah, I need to remove everything inside. So maybe Michelle sure can share with us what you like about this bag first. Yeah, this is the mini, my perfect mini in um, iridescent pink, caviar. It's adjustable. Yeah, so I can wear it over the shoulder or sling around my mm. shoulder. And let me try Yeah, it's very roomy. Mm, fit a lot in there. There's no double flat. Yep. Mm. Go hardware. Yeah. 
also hardware. And then there is a zipper pocket inside. Yeah, there's a zipper pocket inside. But there's no outer pocket. No Mona Lisa pocket. Yep. It's quite it's quite soft caviar. Mm -hmm. But I think that's fine. I think it's really similar to mine actually. Yeah, it's just look at my bag which is called the chainsaw and then this um my perfect mini from 21k i think the main difference is 21k one you can adjust the strap with this thing this button thing right whereas this strap is not adjustable it's more for crossbody it's a bit too long for um you know a shoulder bag unless like you're super tall the interior is quite um similar even the material there are no outer pockets and then uh, but however this one you have an inner zip pocket this one doesn't it's just microchip also should be right so both of these are already microchip bags and then both are fabric right like in black fabric and capacity is really very very similar so yeah so you have a Kelvin and a phone what else that's all right Kelvin phone like lipstick a compact so it is a mini bag guys but it's really really nice I like the pink color, pink, which is almost purplish and lilac -y. Uh And I also like white, so I like every color. <laughs> yeah, how should I start? Uh, I think my friend just noticed that something affecting the chain because of the slider, right? Yeah, mm. I think the edge of this leather, uh, leather, yeah, leather it's, strap is torn or scratched because of oh. the adjustable so thing. there's a lot of wear on this thing i mean caused by this uh, whatever adjustable thing yeah wow. it's no good no good so are we not supposed to adjust it too much <laughs> i guess so i'll just let it be funny guys so i hope that you like the uh, re little review done so kindly by my friend michelle on her back so uh, we actually went to Fendi as well. Again, I tried on the peekaboo, but to be honest, I don't think it's gonna be um you know on top of my priority list anytime soon. But it is a very pretty sturdy bag. If you like, you know this kind of structured bags, it is super. Uh, and of course, we stopped by at Hermes, the one in Pavilion, and then I tried on this winter coat, like knitwear slash coat. It is so pretty. It is basically same line as the sweater that I got from the uh, Bright Stigola collection. And it has a kind of built-in scarf. It's just so well made. And I love the quality of Hermes knitwear. Um, yeah, can you see the design at the back? So here we were lining up because as usual, there was a line outside Hermes. Um, and however, they did have a pair bag on display as well so i went to jimmy choo as well and i really really like this um design i'll talk about it more at the end of my video and it seemed more comfortable than the manolos place look familiar guys obviously i'm at vca so i just wanted to go in and talk to my essay after my friend went home so guess what's the next part of this vlog the part two would be vca vlog guys everyone welcome to today's video so firstly i hope you liked the vlog um my friend michelle and i went to pavilion for almost like the whole day from like 12 to like 9 i think uh, we hung out for quite a long time so we had lunch dinner um it was really fun um and so as you can see we went to quite a lot of stores so today is part one and um i will uh, publish a part two which is mostly vca um next round so uh, firstly let me share my thoughts about Dior so um, as you know I did not buy anything from Dior yesterday um, it's Monday night here um, so why it's because um, my essay invited me for the cruise presentation so there will be uh, more colors coming in he told me and I really want to try the Bobby East West which is a super hot bag like it's totally sold out in the stores not even none even on display so I was like kind of shocked but okay well, we'll see right how i like it so the other thing um that i tried on which was super cool was the so black pattern a uh, lady dior in medium it was really really chic and cool but um i don't think i'll go for that because just because i'm not really looking for a black bag um i did like the dior montaigne that i tried on that was in a gray 
They also have one in blue. It's just a very classic flap shape, you know, rectangular with the big CD in front. And I've been told it is a classic. So my favorite bag in Dior is actually still the ABC Dior or the Lady Dior with the canache quilting in all of its variations. They have so many colors. I have the um, pale pink one, uh, which I still love with the light gold hardware that I often use. Um, and so the other stuff were the micro bags that I tried on. Surprisingly, the uh, um, saddle micro was super cute. It was much cuter than I expected in person. It's handheld, but you can actually uh, buy a separate strap that just came out um, issued by Dior and then you can just kind of cross body it as I've shown in um, the earlier part of this video in the vlog. Um, it is super small. I just want um I got something from YSL as well, so it's like half of this paper bag. You know, if you can imagine the capacity and uh, for Cairo it is maybe up to here, not even like same size as this small little paper bag. So you can only fit cards, um cash and uh car key, you know, not even bulky um not even bulky house keys if you do have them and it's actually shorter than this uh box. You know so it's actually super super small guys the micro bags hence uh, the micro name i guess so i tried on the micro vanity as well um i kind of like that a lot as well because i do love vanity shapes as you know i have the lv reverse one that i still use um, but i don't think i use that one that often just because the closing and opening is um, a bit of a hassle but it is a super cute bag um, the other thing from Dior uh, is the ready to wear. So I do love some of the knitwears. I'll show some pictures here. So I didn't get to try on, um, I only tried on the cardigan and I forgot to take videos and photos of that, the striped one. I do love the nautical theme they have going on right now with the ready to wear uh, with the um, with the navy blue and cream stripes and then the collar with a uh, christian doe at the back the sailor collar it's really cute so i don't know if they'll have more of that so i'll see if i can try any on um i do like jadwa shoes as well more, more the pumps rather than the flats um so i didn't get to try on i don't know why i forgot maybe it was the champagne <laughs> but anyway yeah I'll, I'll get to try them on later i'm pretty sure um but all in all i did like uh, some stuff at dior but i wasn't too sure yet especially because i just got my um white chanel mini flap the day before which was kind of unplanned i didn't expect my essay to be able to get one from me so soon so you know obviously when the chanel essay calls um you know it's better to get it unless you're not you're not 100% sure it's just too difficult to get minis nowadays but i think i'm good with minis now i'm not gonna be like chasing after all the minis for sure that's for sure um so um anyway um that's for dior and then also we stopped by hermes uh i really did like the sorry for dior i'm gonna share another vlog next week if i do get to go uh, for the presentation and also the dior cafe so i'll see if i can make it and the other thing um the other thing that i liked at dior was actually what else the um, mini lady dior which i've always liked because it has a chain detail on the strap uh for caro i'm not the biggest fan of caro just because I don't know, it looks like a combination of, um, it looks a bit very Chanel-like, right? It's a flat bag with a turn lock and it's quilted and his chain detailing on the strap, so I don't know. And Cairo apparently is still not yet considered a classic. Um, so do let me know guys what you like from Dior. Do you like the micro bags? Do you think they're so like impractical? It's just literally ornamental, basically decorative. You need to carry a different but separate bag. Obviously your phone is not going to fit for sure. So, okay, that's for Dior. So, and then we stopped by Hermes. I got to try on the lovely, lovely coat. You know, if I was still like studying in London or working in San Diego even, even though San Diego is not that cold, but to me it was cold actually during winter, I would totally have bought that uh, wool uh, coat. Um, it's not very, it's not like a proper structured coat, but it's very heavy knit and super cozy, so comfortable with the um, built-in scarf as well. And I just love, love the bridal design, the horse bridal design, which is the same range as my sweater that I just got, um, the uh, Brights de Gala collection. I got to try on a mauve Sylvester Picoton, which is the same color as my mauve Sylvester, obviously, um, bracelet, the mini revolve that I got. It's very purplish, lilacish, and um, yeah, very, very nice. But sorry, guys, unfortunately, I cannot take pictures 
pictures of the bags at all. Um, they were only on display anyway, they were not for sale. So at least I got to try on the Picotan. I tried on the 22, which is actually softer than the 18. The 18 is actually a bit harder, I think, um, because of the size. So who knows, maybe later I'll go for a Picotan later on, not so soon. Um, and they won't re really have such pretty colors all, uh, all the time anyway. So that's, you know, that's the thing with Hermes, right? But anyway, I did like the Hermes Beauty as well. Um, they had highlighters, very pretty. Um, they're quite pricey, but you know, uh, what do you expect, right, with Hermes? So pricing is about Tom Ford plus plus, I feel. And the highlighters are about 550 ringgit and uh, lipsticks are 330 ringgit uh, or 350, I don't remember. Uh, nail polishes are around 300 and they have um, some powders as well. So the packaging is very pretty, it's very sleek, uh, very Hermes, you know. At first, I didn't really like the packaging of their beauty items, but I think it grew on me. So that was that. Um, in terms of shoes, they didn't have anything that I liked. No royal loafers that seems to be so hard to find. Oran sandals, um, no uh, specific colors that I liked, only the uh, pattern ones, not the plain colored ones. Uh, ready to wear also, um, not that much left. Uh, they do have a black and white bomber jacket, the silk one, if you're interested. That's in Pavilion Hermes. Um, okay, and then where did we go next? Yes, we also stopped by Fendi. So I tried on a peekaboo again. Um, to be honest, I don't think I'll be getting that anytime soon. Uh, Fendi Peekaboo is very well made. It's very um, you know, structured. It's very nondescript. It doesn't have a logo. But I do think it is pretty pricey. Um, I guess my priority for bags always Hermes and... Chanel now, uh, rather than the other brands, and to a, and a lesser extent, it would be Dior. But since I already have the Lady Dior, I probably would get the um, Montaigne or the Bobby East West if it looks good on me. The Bobby East West is actually priced at uh, quite a good price. It's a lower price than the Montaigne, but of course, it is a smaller bag. But it is super hot now. It was like totally, um, it's totally sold out in the stores and there were none even on display. So I was a bit surprised. I hope I get to try it next week. Um, and then we went to uh, Manolo Blahnik. Um, sorry, I didn't get to take videos there. I forgot. Um, but to be honest, I thought that it was very stiff. It was not very comfortable. And it kind of reminded me of my Jimmy Choo's. I, I'm not sure why people think Jimmy Choo's are very comfortable, but they were not for me. So shoes are super personal because my friend loved the Manolos. Like she finds them very comfortable, but I did not. Um, but however, I did like the Bing Muse that I tried on the 65 centimeters one. I love the pattern white and pattern uh, pink, light pink, but it looks like nude to me. So I'm just going to wait for sale, guys, because Jimmy Choo always goes on sale. And the guy even told me the end of the year there will be a sale at Pavilion Jimmy Choo uh, in December when all the brands have sale. So I got this actually from My Theresa, and they were a very good deal, about 40% off. So if you're looking for Jimmy Choo's, you can also try My Theresa, which is um totally legit. I always buy from them. A lot of people buy from them. And um, one of their major shareholders is Harvey Nichols, the British department store. So no um, issues there at all, guys. Um, do look for uh, my th uh, do look on my Theresa if you're looking for Jimmy Choo shoes. Same for Valentino, Roger Vivier, uh, as well. And they also have Gucci, a limited collection of Gucci, Balenciaga. Um, just check it out. Okay. So this video is not sponsored by my Theresa, just in case you're curious. But I personally have bought from them, and you do have to pay customs of ten percent if you're in Malaysia. So um, the last thing I wanted to talk about actually was the, uh, the My Perfect Mini in Iridescent Pink that my friend has. She got it from Dubai and, you know, unfortunately it was, it's not available here. Uh, it's in 21, it's from 21K. And um, to be honest, we were both surprised when she suddenly realized because I asked her to do a quick review and she very kindly did that. So, you know, um, really um, nice of her to do that for us. Um, the strap right on the leather strap because there's the extender um, thing that actually moves up and down so she noticed that the leather here on the chain actually were um, a lot of it uh, was uh, a lot of the leather was actually scratched because of the extender so to be honest that's a bit disappointing i consider that a design flaw guys i consider that a design flaw chanel so i was slowly surprised uh, but 
Like, why wouldn't they have thought of that? I'm sure the bag would have gone through a lot of, you know, post-production testing, etc. before you um, release it to the market. So I've heard uh, uh, complaints about the Pearl Crush as well, which uh, a lot of Pearl Crush are available for cruise that's landing soon, end of November in stores uh, in Malaysia, I heard. Um, so because the pro thing, the ball itself is pretty heavy, so apparently it weighs down the flap and you know, I've actually seen flaps that are lopsided here on top, you know, so every time you buy a Chanel flap guys, please do check properly if you know, it's uh, structured uh, nicely. So I did check my mini thoroughly before I bought it and I got my essay to help me check um, as well. So he was very good with that, he really peered, he told me to definitely look for the corners and stuff like that, you know usually that's where the wear shows immediately so um or you know if it's you know not very it didn't undergo very strict quality control i don't know maybe you know one or two would be missed when they're doing the qc but however overall i still love chanel so no complaints i'm super happy with my essay who delivered thank you cecilia and then she got nikki to help me so these two um they helped me uh at klcc so Cecilia doesn't really do sales anymore directly, so Nikki's on her team. So do let me know if you want um, his contact details if you're shopping in Malaysia. Um, and okay, that's Chanel. So however, you know, I do love my friend's 21k bag. So super pretty, the lilac. So it's really my dream uh, if I can get a similar color, but not iridescent, obviously. Uh, if I could ever get a more Sylvester break in, I think I'll be like, oh my gosh. I'll probably like, I don't know be so super stoked it's just such a pretty color let me show would be like really really super nice guys so um yeah and so i think i've covered everything in um today's vlog so part two will be so i didn't really buy anything luxury per se you know I, I i think i've bought quite a lot of stuff like in the past on friday and saturday already but i did buy a cardigan at zara so i thought these buttons were really cute they are like kind of rhinestone buttons and this is just a red cardigan so you can see i think it's very pretty and just to uh, show you quickly what i got at ysl i already used the lipstick <laughs> to be honest but so here i got the um touche eclat compact and it is i bought it because it's a very slim compact guys so i think it'll be useful especially for my small bag so it comes in a nice velvety um pocket and you can purchase refills also you have to fix the refill yourself um okay sorry here it is that's the uh place for the compact so let's do it right now um oops okay so it's not that straightforward but what's good about this compact is that you can actually just buy the refill next time and not you know keep having to buy the whole casing uh, my thing is the sponge okay the sponge is right here i think this is going to be great for touch-ups so this is how it looks guys so just a quick yeah it's a velvety velvety kind of finish so it's quite pretty i think it, this would fit very well in um, mini bags and the essay also gave me some samples Oh, top secret primer i really love it it's quite expensive as well in my opinion why sell and the uh, perfect shots their skincare line so i'll try it out later maybe get the full size one day i don't know when but so yeah i love this compact guys and the red cardigan that i got so that's all i got from my uh shopping the whole day at pavilion yesterday so i was really really good guys i'll share with you um part two of this vlog is on vca and what's on my wish list and what i'm planning to get next um, probably won't be so too soon guys we'll see okay so um i hope you like uh this little chat um, uh, i've had just i've had with you guys and if you watch this far please do give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel really appreciate the support i uh, love your comments you know especially since most of you are very supportive and you know we just love luxury items i think um talking about the luxury items and what to buy next is part of the fun so it's really fun to you know connect with you guys do leave me comments and um yeah do give this video a thumbs up if you've liked it and subscribe to my channel for more of these content and i'll see you really really soon 
um, take care and have a wonderful, beautiful day. Bye.